someone is taking a shower right now. I just, there's been so much background noise this whole video, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hi book friends, welcome back to Books and Tea Time, or welcome if this is your first time here. Today I am going to share with you all of the things that I got for my birthday. My 22nd birthday was like a week and a half ago on November 19th. I have a 22 facts about me birthday video also uh, if you're interested in seeing that I'll have a card to that. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I got a lot of books and I ordered even more books uh, that are coming in the mail in a few days. So I'll probably do like a mini haul for that in like an upcoming vlog. But I wanted to show you the books that I got and some of the other things that I got just so you guys can see if you're interested. Uh, I think I'm going to do books first and then all the other stuff. So some of these books I specifically requested or asked for and one of them was a surprise so i'm gonna start with the surprise because i love when people buy me books that they like and think that i'll like or like they think that would really match my style or my taste in reading so that was really sweet so one of my aunts got this for me and it is called some kind of fairy tale and it's by graham joyce i have never heard of this author but my aunt said in the card that this is one of her new favorites i'm just noticing on the back here that it was blurped by stephen king didn't know that but it's like a fantasy thriller this girl goes missing in some woods in england and she comes back 20 years later and she claims that she was abducted by fairies and like her family is skeptical and a little like what are you talking about because like who would be abducted by fairies and i think there's like a little bit of a psychological thriller element are they going crazy or is she crazy are these fairies real i don't know if i'll be able to get it in by the end of the year but uh, I'll definitely put it early on my 2021 reading list if not because I'm very interested and it's pretty short and my aunt has always had really great recommendations. She lent me uh, two books by Shirley Jackson that I've really loved and we exchange books a lot so I'm really really happy to have this and it was such a fun thing to open as a surprise a book that someone like thinks that I'll like and I'm really excited to read it so that's the first book that I got and then these two I specifically requested because I have a ton of Broadview Press editions of books. I use them for school a lot and I took a class on Jane Austen and the Bronte sisters so I have four of Jane Austen's novels in the Broadview editions so I just asked for the other two so I would have all six so I got Persuasion by Jane Austen in the Broadview Press edition and also Northanger Abbey. I have three copies of Nor Northanger Abbey now, but like honestly, I'm, I'm not that upset about it. So I do wanna read Northanger Abbey again. I have read this already, but I do wanna reread it. And I think I'm gonna reread this edition because it has like an introduction by Claire Grogan. Each book is like edited and has an introduction by a different critic and also uh there are appendix materials at the back i love these editions broadview is amazing and i'm really glad that my professor used these editions because i've just fallen in love with them and then also persuasion i have never read so i'm really happy to have this copy on hand and to read it because it's her last novel jane austen's last novel and i've never read it and i've read all the other five i got northern gravity from my mom and my dad and then my other another aunt that I have. I have a lot of uh, relatives and aunts. My mom is one of five and my dad is one of three so uh, I have a lot of relatives but this is from Persuasion is from one of my other aunts so I was really glad to get both of these. Then Alexander who is my partner my boyfriend he got me the box set for the Lord of the Rings trilogy and also it includes The Hobbit. So I'm gonna take these covers out so you guys can see them because they look absolutely stunning and I'm so excited but uh, I've been thinking about reading The Lord of the Rings for a really long time because Tolkien is like one of the pillars of fantasy and one of the first fantasy writers. He like invented a language or maybe multiple languages 
uh, I'm actually not sure but I guess I'll find out but I know that he's a linguist so he actually like made up languages for the different like groups of people in these books and like I've seen the movies so the Hobbit cover is uh, one of the movie covers which I actually really really like this cover um and that's what the back looks like so we've got the Hobbit which is the prequel to the Lord of the Rings trilogy I believe and I believe it was written after the Lord of the Rings but I think you can read them in either order uh, however, I am going to read the trilogy first and then The Hobbit. I have a question for you guys. Would you rather me record vlogs for each individual book in the trilogy or would you rather me do a big vlog dedicated to the entire Lord of the Rings? Because I can't decide what I would want to do. Then we have the first book which is The Fellowship of the Ring and oh, I love these covers guys. They are so stunning. I love the colors too. They're just so amazing. So um, yeah, we have this one, which is the first book in the trilogy. Then we have uh, The Two Towers. I think this one's my favorite just because I love the tower art on the front cover here. It just looks so good and I love this blue. Stunning. So this is the second one, The Two Towers. And then the final one, which is The Return of the King. Oh, I love this one too. Actually, I don't know which one's my favorite because I love this because it reminds me of the Tree of Life, the Celtic Tree of Life. And I, I love that. But like this green, oh, I cannot wait to read these books. I'm so excited to start the vlog. So that'll be coming soon. And I am definitely going to start that before the end of the year. I don't know if I'll finish it depending on uh, if I do multiple vlogs or one big vlog. But that is coming. The Lord of the Rings vlogs are happening. So thanks so much to Alexander for getting me this gorgeous box set. Uh, I love box sets. I don't have any other physical books to show you. I did order three more books with some birthday money that I got. So I'm gonna count it and I ordered The Fires of Vengeance by Evan Winter, which is the second book in the Burning trilogy. What's it called? Yes, the trilogy is called The Burning. I have Rage of Dragons up here, which is why I was referencing that. Uh, I'll have a vlog where I read Rage of Dragons up here because I absolutely loved that book. It was phenomenal and I cannot wait for the second one. It actually came out uh, a little bit ago, but I wanted to get it uh, for my birthday, so I'm using my money for that. I also got Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I've heard so much incredible buzz about this book, and the Late Night Book Club was reading it this month, and I really hope that I can get it in time to read it for their live show, but if not, I'll just watch it after. But the Late Night Book Club is Elias from Elias Reads, Joel from Fictional Fates, and Noelle from Noelle Gallagher. I mean, like, that's, like, what her channel is, and they are just... Oh, all three of them incredible incredible booktubers i have their channels linked down below but they host a book club every month and this month they're reading black sun and i've also just heard so much incredible incredible buzz the cover is just a magnificent piece of art it should be in a museum i cannot wait to read it i also ordered myself a physical copy of the hating game by sally thorne because i just listened to the audiobook again i'll have a card to the vlog where i read it but um, it was my first time reading adult romance and I loved it. It was so good and I'm definitely gonna reread it so I got a copy. So those three are on their way to me in the mail and I'll unbox them for you guys when I get them in another video. So that's it for the books but I did get some other really cool stuff so let's see how do I want to do this. I have a couple other things cool things to show you so first things first um every year alexander and i on each other's birthday we get each other a game like some sort of board game or party game something like that uh, it's a tradition we started a really long time ago but basically the idea is that we thought it would be fun to collect games so that when we live together we'll have a really cool collection for when we have family and friends over and we'll have different games for different settings like more party games and then like more intense games we also have a tradition that on our birthday like when 
when we open it at our party we play the game like with our friends and family so this year alexander got me this game it's called second thoughts and we did play it on my birthday and it was really fun it's very easy to learn which is good because sometimes we have to like read the directions ahead of time in the hopes of like teaching everybody how to play on the day of and then actually playing for like the more complicated games but it was really fun. It's fast paced and quick, so you can play like a couple rounds. So I did actually really like this game. Uh, if you like games, check it out. There's a really cute animated like how to play video, I think on YouTube or something. If I find it, I'll include it down below. But I got this from Alexander. Also something that's not here yet, but that I am getting is my mom gifted me a three month subscription to Sipsify, which is a tea subscription subscription box service and that is like my dream I can't even believe it so this actually came on my radar because Jesse from Bowties and Books who's another incredible incredible booktuber that you guys should check out I'll have their channel link down below but they do I don't know if they're like partnered with them or just have an affiliate link I'm not exactly sure the technical terminology for it but every month they get a sips by box and they unbox it on their channel and they do this really sweet and cute thing where for every type of tea that they open they shout out a booktuber or like a really cool bookish company i really love watching those videos because i love tea and also the positive happy energy is amazing and jesse is such a wonderful incredible booktuber i love them so much and their their channel is incredible they just got a really adorable dog too so i just i love everything about their channel and i think they have a link so i'll have a link to their channel but also a link to one of their sip by videos like the most recent one um so that you can use the affiliate link and give them some love and also give sips by some love but anyway my mom got me a three month subscription so that'll eventually be coming and i'll unbox that when it gets here but i'm so excited because i can't wait i love tea and i love trying new tea now let's move on to like makeup and nail polish because I did get a couple things from my grandma that I wanted to show you guys. First things first, I asked for this new eyeshadow palette. I don't have a huge makeup collection. This is actually only the third eyeshadow palette that I own, but I really, I feel like in quarantine, ironically, I've really enjoyed putting on makeup. It's relaxing to me, like the idea of blending and matching colors. I'll insert a clip of my eyeshadow look today because it's kind of hard for you guys to tell, but I used this palette and the palette is the Aurora palette from a company called Alter Ego. I just really wanted this one because it has so many really oh, first of all it has a mirror i've never had an eyeshadow palette with a mirror before and it's incredible but it has so many of these gorgeous pink tones and yellow and i don't have a lot of pink and i definitely don't have any yellow so i really liked this because it added a little bit more of the rainbow into my collection so to speak Ooh, that's cool uh, so I used this today to create this eyeshadow look and I just really love it. It's super really great quality like it feels expensive and it's like not that expensive. Their whole like spiel from what I understand is that they recreate really really expensive high-end palettes. They recreate the color story. And then I also got three new nail polishes because I've been painting my nails more recently but I only have like three nail polish colors so I got three more from the company Lights Lab which is owned by a makeup and beauty youtuber uh her name's kathleen lights she's one of she's really really popular so if you know anything about makeup i'm sure you know her but i followed her she was like one of the first makeup beauty youtubers that i followed and she has her own nail polish company and they make really uh, awesome nail polish colors uh they're cruelty free and vegan so i just wanted to try them out and see because i know i feel like these are like the most like fancy nail polishes I've ever owned like really I only have Essie and like other like drugstore brands but these aren't too expensive and they come in these adorable little packages individually packaged which I thought was so sweet is what they look like they really look similar like almost exactly the same uh in this lighting uh maybe I'll do like an up close yeah I'll do like um a close-up I got the shades woman 
which is this one. Again, I'll give you a close-up of this. I think this is the one that I'm going to use to paint my nails tonight. Uh, At Last is the second one that I got. This is more like of a deep navy kind of a color, whereas this I think is closer to a cobalt. Um, And then finally I got the shade Cold Turkey, which is like this lighter... I said that weird, uh, like a lighter, more tealish baby blue. So I'm really excited to have these three and I'm gonna paint my nails with one of them tonight. So thanks to my grandma for giving me the eyeshadow and the nail polish to be super glam. Finally, I got some clothes. So first thing, um, Alexander uh, got me this uh, Nike hoodie. It's the like navy blue Nike hoodie that like you can see anywhere on the internet. Um, but he got me this because he has this exact one and I always ask to borrow it because it's so soft and comfy and I just love how it looks. So he got me one in like a smaller size for me and we're really dorky and we match. So I love that. It's so fun. And then last but not least, I treated myself to a stitch fix. I think that's what it's called. I don't even know what it's technically called, but it's um like this subscription box for clothing, basically. My mom does it a lot and I feel like I just, I have a lot of gaps in my closet and I'm going to be moving out in like at some point in like the next year or two and I borrow a lot of my mom's clothes full transparency I really do I feel like anytime I go out or I need to have like a fancy outfit I borrow like either shoes or like a top or jewelry a bag so I'm just trying to get my own sort of <laughs> collection of nicer clothing together so I ordered a stitch fit stitch fix for myself and I think I'm gonna do like you can do it every month every other month or every three months and it's kind of expensive so I think I'm gonna do it every three months but I really loved all the stuff that I got this month so I ordered it to come like a couple days after my birthday and I have a couple clips again that I'll insert of me trying this stuff on but the first thing I got is these jeans uh, I love good jeans uh, they don't have any rips in them uh, not that that would bother me, but uh, I I could always use a pair of jeans because I wear jeans a lot and these are from the brand Judy Blue, no idea, but they fit really well and they're cozy. They're a little bit like jegging kind of, but not exactly, like they have like a good stretch to them, um, a good material, we'll call it. I think this is the next thing I tried on. This is like a really, really, I wish that I could like reach through the screen and let you touch this because it's so soft guys it's incredibly soft but it's kind of just like a relaxed more of a, like a chill casual top it's like a long sleeve sweaterish not really a sweater but it's very very soft I've already worn it like three times since I got it and it's so nice so I got that and then I got this awesome sweater again I just wore this for Thanksgiving because it's such a Thanksgiving color sweater uh and it's also really really soft so I got this as you can see the sleeves are all bundled up so I got that and then I got this top which is uh, a little more fancy I would say definitely on the fancier end and it's got like this really nice floral pattern and these buttons down the front and a little tie at the bottom of the front um this is probably again a little more like fall spring and we're like going into winter so I don't know if I'll wear this anytime soon but I definitely will wear it when it's more weather appropriate but I really like that and then finally I got this really really nice like deep orange cardigan um again a really nice material and it's like got this cute little bow pattern on the back so yeah that is all the clothes that I got and I think that wraps up everything I got for my birthday so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and again don't forget to comment down below how you feel about the lord of the rings vlogs because i don't know what i feel yet like comment and subscribe if that's your jam and i'll see you in my next video happy reading happy writing and happy living bye guys